Welcome to Truck and Tuesday by Ray Screws. Round two sent me some Johnny Lightning truck and trailer. Check it out. 2018 release one. It's the very first release of their truck and trailer packages. Here you have uh, the A case assortment, and we also have the B case assortment, the alternate color. I'm not sure if this re is replacing the tr uh, gone fishing line, or is this going to be a, a, just another one that they have? I'm not sure. Gone fishing was pretty cool, uh, but I definitely am more interested in the truck and trailer. It's nice to take your uh, vehicles and have a trailer to haul them. Look, I don't know how long you've been collecting, but the color, the color scheme right there reminded me of the uh, Monopoly packages. Pretty cool. Here you go. Oh, what do we have here? Where's the name? 1996 Dodge Ram with car trailer. Your truck has a hitch. You have the adjustable uh, hitch right there where you can park it. Uh, the stand, right? You have a couple ramps for you to put hook on the back right here. So you can uh, roll your extra cars up here and haul it away. Pretty cool, nice, nice and shiny diamond plating. Uh, uh, rubber tires, you can see the rubber tires. Uh, this is this is the Johnny Lightning model that I like to collect as far as trucks go because uh, it has all these extra things, uh, all these extra parts on it. Two per case. And in red, we have the 2004 Ford F-250 with car trailer. And I'm looking at the trailers real quick. They look the same. Yeah, the, tra the trailers, they look the same. But this time it's a black surface and black ramps. So those would be like uh, powder coated, right? I believe that's what the, the process would be, powder coating. Uh, rubber tires. Two samples. Now remember, this is the uh, version B. Version A will be a different color. What's the 4,540? 4,540. The other one was uh, limited to 4,360. And let's see what the last one is. Limited to 4,720. Not even 5,000 pieces of each. Hey, that's pretty cool. Check out that big camper on there. Uh, 2002 Chevy Silverado with camper and car trailer and this one's a little bit different as far as the uh, color no it's just mm, I think it's different it might it might be the same as far as the uh, the ramp kind of looks a little bit more charcoal but could be just my lighting hard to tell but <laughs> check out that camper Pretty cool. Rubber tires. You have the, uh, did I say the name? Yes, I, I do believe I said the name. That's pretty cool. I'm sure that's going to be plastic. You got windows. Side view mirrors. Rubber tires. Looks like it has an opening hood. This one here. Opening hood. This one. Mm, yep, this one has an opening hood as well. My lights are a little bright. Uh, usually I turn, oh, wait a second. And there's the other one. I wonder what the alternate color for this one is. Mm, I don't. I don't recall if there's white lightnings or not. Hey, pretty cool. An olive drive. You had here's the uh, Ford F250 with car trailer. Here is the Dodge Ram, kind of a uh, magenta, purplish grape wine type color. In white, for this one, it's not a, uh, I don't believe that's a white lightning. They're both white, so I don't think it's a white lightning. Okay, I'll be right back. Since all the trailers are the same, I'm just gonna pick one to open. I found white lightning samples of all three trucks, and as you can see, they have white tires. You'll have white tires on the truck and the trailer. Not only that, the trailers look like they've been painted white, so that'll be pretty easy to see. Happy hunting. Hope you find one. Uh, I hope I find one as well. By the way, the ramps. 
Metal, not plastic parts. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Textured. This is plastic. Metal fenders. This part down here looks like it's uh, metal down here. There's a screw for you to disassemble it if you choose. Here's a, a stand. I usually like to spin it down here instead of the top. Just because it's easier for me than trying to crank that little handle. There's a spot for you to hook it up to your trailer hitch. Here's your slots for your ramps. Just set them right there. Oh, nice angle. Look how smooth that is. Perfect. Matter of fact, uh, let me grab a Johnny Lightning. I have a couple set here to the side. Let's see. Here I have the, uh, this is from a previous release, Classic Gold. I have the 1970 Chevy Blazer. Let's see how the uh, size is. Oops. Well, it might, it might look good for display, but it doesn't have enough weight. Let me give it a little lift here. Put it on top first. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> good for display. It doesn't hook in. Now, of course, the real thing, they're so heavy. I guess I guess if you hit it hard enough, you can dislodge it on the on in a real life situation as well. There's there's a size just so you can tell. Plenty of room for the Chevy Blazer. In the same classic gold release, we have the uh, 1959 classic 1959 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. And as you can see, plenty of room for that as well. No overhang in the rear, none in the front either. Very nice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they have a spot to keep these. Or you just got to keep them yourself. I don't see a slot to keep these. So I guess you just got to hang on them. Make sure you don't lose them. Now let's go ahead and check out the hitch. Oh, well, first, actually, let's check out this camper. Plastic. I really like the, uh, I really like the color on this one here. The white was all right as well. But when I film, but when I try to get close-ups of white die cast, it's like, man, the light just glares right off of it. There you go. There's your opening hood. Headlight details. Check. Got side view mirrors. You got decorations on the side. 4x4 brake lights. Rubber tires. Metal base. Treads on your rubber tires. Here's your hitch. If you can hook it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting point. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize that. I'm going to set these to the side. Uh, I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can hook it on it. Oh, it's so close. Can't get it. Oh, let me turn this. Hey, I got it in there. <laughs> and uh, uh, it does not have full mobility, though, if you leave it hooked up. Now, I'm sure you want to know if the uh, camper comes off. Well, let's find out. Any screws? That, I think that's a normal screw to hold the model together. Uh, might even be to hold this, actually. Let's see. Well, it's not popping off yet. Pop off. It's not coming off. You might not be able to detach them. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it comes off or not. Because I can't get it off. Got a ladder. Ladder's an extra part right here. It's a little plastic part added. You can see it has some flex to it. You have your air conditioning uh, duct on top, or uh, motor, I should say. Pretty cool. I like the camper. Love the color. I'm pretty sure it's not meant to come apart because watch what happens when I try to pull it off. You can see that the plastic, there's another plastic part in the chassis that this pops in. Look, it, look it, it's separating. It's actually pulling it apart. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think this one's made to uh, take your camper off. Thanks again to Round 2 for sending these uh, Johnny Lightning truck and trailer samples. What do you guys think? You guys going to pick anything up? Uh, I like all three. All three of them look fantastic. All, all three trailers are the same. You get a different truck. This one's pretty cool. It's got that camper, and, of course, the car did not come with it. Nonetheless, you can put any car on it that you'd like. Thank you for watching.
happy collecting. Bye, bye.